Hey guys, TK here once again. You know, a few videos back, I had mentioned that I would love to do some future videos where I get to show off some emulators, some games, some ROMs. Um, but before I get to that point, because uh, I will get to that someday, uh, I thought it would probably be a wise decision to show you what front end I am using for an emulator. A front end is basically where you can have like one interface, one pane of glass for multiple emulators. Um, so that's really what this video is for, is I'm gonna install it, you know, throw a couple of emulators and some games on there to show you how fast and easy the one I'm using is to set up. Uh, I am using LaunchBox. I absolutely love this software, found it probably, I know it was back in 2014, so I have been using it since its infancy. Uh, it was made by a young man named Jason Carr, who's, uh, I, I, I love it so I would love to know if he's actually working on some other software because I am so impressed with this software um, and the amount of devotion that this group is showing towards this software. Uh, I get an email every single week from them, you know, with a, a YouTube video that's basically like, here's some new stuff, community, but all the, all, just, just really well done. Um, I love the amount of support and love and attention this software is getting from this group. Um, uh, and, I mean, keep in mind, I have, <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I've been doing this since the infancy of emulators uh, and, you know, the horrors of the early days of emulators and the nightmares. And, you know, now it's so much easier to do a lot of these things. Uh, as far as front ends, I have used things like Hyperspin, GameX, uh, Emulation Station, Maximus, a plug-in for uh, XBMC. Of course, XBMC is now known as Cody. I've uh, been using XBMC since its infancy, um, uh, along with Plex. Uh, so this is stuff I'm, I'm very familiar with. I've done a lot with it. Um, I don't sometimes use some of the advanced features because I have no need for them. Um, but this is basically just, yeah, quick and dirty. Here's how you set it up. Here's how fast and easy it is. So obviously I'm on the web page. It is free. You do get a lot for free. However, there is a paid version. Uh, Big Box comes with the paid version. Big Box is basically kind of like the Steam Big Box. Uh, is it Steam Big Box? I don't. I don't ever use it, so I don't know what it's called. Basically, it takes over your whole Windows interface. It, it's on top. You don't have a start menu or taskbar. It's full screen, and the interface looks a little bit different. As you can see here, kind of shows like the. This is like the, maybe the game window, and there's like an an outer edge around it and there's multiple themes and layouts for it uh, so it's pretty cool stuff I don't normally use it my son occasionally does um, but if you head on over to the premium tab up here you'll see that yeah you get a lot of extra features it's 20 bucks uh, for a license however that's only good for one year uh, after that you no longer get updates they do release updates fairly frequently uh, I think we're at version 7.7 .7. And after that, you can pay $10 a year for a renewal, basically, just to get updates. Or you can go ahead and pay 50 bucks up front to get what's called a forever license. You never have to worry again. You're always good to go. Or you can pay 20 and then later upgrade for 30 Only quick thing I'll mention about this is I paid for this software probably about two and a half years ago, and I bought the forever license, and I paid $10. So obviously, the pricing has changed a bit. Uh, granted... They've added so many features to it, and I mean, big, big Box didn't exist back then. A lot of the other stuff they've added doesn't even exist. So they can kind of command this price, in my opinion. So just keep that in mind, that this could go up in price. I don't know if they ever do sales. Um, so just think about that when you're considering doing something along these lines. Um, if you head on over the forums... Obviously, lots of good information here. You can go to downloads to find people who've done like themes and media packs and stuff like that. Uh, the gallery is kind of cool. There's like custom arcade cabinets in here. I've looked at these a few times before. I don't have anything like this. Uh, we just have a media PC hooked up to our TV in the den. So that's it. I will link the, this to the uh, to the description. Um, so let's go ahead and install it real quick. Uh, real quick, I guess one more thing. I do have a folder on my desktop. Emulators, NES and Wii, same with the ROMs here. Uh, one thing to note is NES is obviously just an unpacked zip file, basically. That's how easy that is. The Wii emulator I'm using, Dolphin, you actually have to install it on your system, which I've already done that. Uh, so keep that in mind, and I'll show you why you need to know that in a second. 
Um, ROMs, I only have a handful in here because like I said, this is just, I want to quick and dirty show you how easy it is to set up. I'm going to right click and do it as administrator because if you don't, you will get prompted, I think for DirectX and a couple other things. If you do it as administrator, it should go through the whole shebang with no issues. I'm basically going to take all the defaults here. You know, one thing I will kind of quickly move move past. <laughs> Obviously, if you're doing this and, you know, you load emulators and ROMs and you don't have a backup copy of the game yourself, obviously you're committing piracy. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Let your conscience be your guide. Um, I am not going to tell you where to find emulators and ROMs. That's not what I'm here for. A quick and simple Google search on, you know, NES emulator, NES ROMs, and you're going to find the stuff you're looking for. And you could say that for any system. Uh, I'm going to skip past all this. This actually does have some pretty cool stuff right off the bat, though, of like how to, you know, install and port some stuff. We're not going to use that. We're going to do the real built-in tools. Uh, one other thing is, yes, you can actually import games from other services like Steam, GOG, Origin. I don't do that. I have tested the Steam one. It works great. And on my media PC, we do have some older Windows games that were never, you know, tied to any systems like this, like... Uh, I think the early version of Sims or Sims 2, and it's not even tied to Origin, so it's on there. Um, so it does work for like games for Windows. And you could make it your single pane of glass in terms of having all of these on there. The reason I don't do that is since you have to log into Steam, you have to log into GOG Origin. Uh, I log in every time uh, and have to put in a password. You know, I've got dual fa uh, factor authentication, all that stuff two-factor authentication um it's like it's not worth it to me I'll, I'll just use the interface since i'm gonna have to log into it anyway i'll use steam's own interface but i have considered a handful of times uh doing it in this even if even though I, if i launch a game from one of those systems i would have to log in when i launch it so just keep that in mind uh one other thing i'll mention before i move on is obviously it brought in my desktop wallpaper i know isn't this great doesn't it look awesome you know we've got the dominus here from rocket league uh, if you like this wallpaper, I grabbed it from Reddit. There's a guy on there named Thaf9, I think. It's like T-H-A-F-N-I-N-E. He's done a lot of other artwork as well that he's posted up on Reddit. I grabbed this a few months ago. I will link that in the description. So if you're interested in getting this artwork, you can, or maybe other stuff he's made. Uh, but if you don't want it on here for some reason in LaunchBox, I believe that is under maybe Options... Default background, uh, and you can change it to the default background of LaunchBox instead. So that's up to you. We're going to go to Tools, Manage Emulators. First thing is we're going to add both the NES and Wii. Those are the two that I'm using. Um, he has a lot of pre-populated stuff in here, thankfully. I'm using FCE UX. See, it already says auto-populated auto proper settings. Browse, I'm going to go to my desktop, games, emulators, NES. Da -da. All I'm doing is going to the executable. That's it. Hit OK. Now the Wii, because I had to load Dolphin on my system, it's a little different. I can't go to my desktop folder. I've actually got to go to where it's installed, which is C Program Files Dolphin. And that's it. OK. Done. Then I'm going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. You can do individual files or the entire folder that contains your ROMs. Because I only have three games, I'll do the whole folder. When you would want to consider doing the files alone, is if you're doing, let's say, the Nintendo Entertainment System and you have 700 plus games like I do, loading them all at one time will take a very, very long time. We're talking like probably hours. I would imagine it would take a couple of hours to download all the artwork and stuff. So right now I can do the folders. Uh, when I loaded the NES games, Sega Genesis games, all those other systems, I usually did it alphabetically. I'd say like do all the games that start with A. Uh, so just keep that in mind um, if you're doing a ton at once. Platform, it isn't NES, it is Nintendo Entertainment System. Or, you know, maybe you want to load Nintendo Famicom. Um, it automatically picked my emulator. Click Next. You can have it move the ROMs into uh, the actual LaunchBox folder. I don't like to do that because I have my own file structure. So I usually say use the files in their current location. 
Next, this is the part where you can say if you want it to download all the artwork. Configure Emu Movies. If you have an account on Emu Movies, I'll talk about that in a second if you like. Well, even if you don't like, I'm going to talk about it. Haha. <laughs> Uh, next, next, finish. See here, it found my three games. So now it's going to download all the metadata, all the artwork, all that stuff. Emu Movies is specifically cool if you're in big box mode and you go onto a game, it can actually, it downloads like a, maybe a 15 second clip of the game in action. Um, kind of like when you launch the old games and it would like show you a few minutes of gameplay. Basically that, like 15 second snippet. It's very, very cool. The thing you have to keep in mind is if you do that for a ton of games, obviously you better have a little bit of storage to do all this. Um, I mean, heck, you better have some storage, period, if you're going to be loading some of the newer systems like Wii. Because those files can be extremely large. Um, especially if you have all of them. <laughs> so you can see here it loaded all three games successfully. Before I do anything with these, I'm going to go ahead and import the uh, Wii ROMs. I'm going to do the same thing, folder, desktop ROMs, Wii, hit OK, next. I'm going to go down to Nintendo Wii. Sorry, my dogs are barking in the background. Probably something's flying around outside. Use current location, next, 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 finish. Um, sorry if I'm also kind of talking fast. Uh, trying to get this done in a hurry before my family gets home. <laughs> I've always got limited time. Um... By the way, hopefully I sound a little bit better. Uh, I found my old, uh, I've got a blue snowball mic instead of using my headset mic, so hopefully I sound a little bit better. I actually used to use this when I would just use headphones when I play games before I actually got a headset. So, uh, like I said, hopefully I sound better. Two games imported successfully. Ba-boom, all of them here. So as you can see, right now I've got all platforms selected. You can go to each individual platform to see that platform's games. You can do all sorts of stuff here. If you want to see just portable games by publisher, region, all that good stuff. Uh, let's go back to all. Another cool feature is up here. You can do a search. Let's say I just want to see all Super Mario games. There you go. Um, uh, let me show off a couple other things. If right down here in the bottom right, you can change the box size to make them a little bit larger. You can go significantly large, which I would not recommend. Um, you can, as you click on each box, See how it's got background art? I go to Zelda. Wait, let's go back to Contra. Oh, dang damn it. Now it changed. Uh, it basically will randomly change the background art. You don't have to do this. You can change these settings. You don't have to download the artwork at all if you don't want to. Um, it's just kind of cool. And if you highlight over one of the games up top, if you hit I, it basically brings down this T. Ugh, details menu that's up in the top right tells you all sorts of stuff about the game that came down with the metadata um, you know is it multiplayer or not is it you know its status is an imported ROM which that's going to be the majority of things unless it's something from Steam or another game on Windows uh, is it portable or not which I would assume in most cases I don't, I don't know what would happen if I loaded like 3DS uh, or Game Boy games or something like that I don't know if it would say portable um, tells you basically all sorts of stuff about the game um, another cool thing is right here you can rotate it to see what the back of the box looks like and you have a zoom feature so you can actually like get a close-up look of what the box looks like um, same thing if you like flip it around you can do a close-up look at the front of the box if you want to but since you can already kind of do this and make the boxes larger you know your mileage may vary uh, the the audio note here, there is a way to actually download small audio clips for each game as well, to where you can click on it and hear it, or you can go to each game, and as you click on the game, it will play it. Uh, I mean, there's just, there's so many features, uh, and you get so much for free. That's what I love so much about this software. Um, I mean, I, I can't rave about it enough. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and launch Super Mario Brothers. The only thing I have done is I did uh, use my Xbox controller and configured the keys for it real quick. If you've never seen a Wii emulated, uh, it is better. Uh, I mean, it, no doubt. Like, I have hooked up a, uh, a Wii on our... We only have one TV in the house. It's like a 65-inch Samsung. Um, and a Wii hooked up to it, you know, nowadays it looks a little bit pixelated. doesn't look as good. And then you hook up a media PC that's running what we're seeing right now, basically, on the first screen. And then you flip the source on it. Oh yeah, this looks significantly better than the real thing. Uh, so, keep that in mind. 
Dynamite if you ever get a chance to run like, This does require a little more work. Um, let me launch something else. Let's say Contra. I haven't played this in forever. You know, I would love to do a run through of this game with my son and record it and upload it. I think that would be just, just awesome. Um, you know, this is all things like really, and that's kind of what I'm thinking is if I show off some games, I'll, my son would love to do a YouTube channel. Uh, he is technically not old enough to start his own YouTube channel yet. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll probably let him do videos with me occasionally, and that'll kind of give him a taste for it. And then when he gets a little older, he'll be able to do his own. <gasps> you didn't see that. You did not see that. I'm going to have to get my revenge real quick. Um, oh my God, I can't even believe I just died on it. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just died twice. You know what it is? It's because I'm looking at OBS real quick, and that... I have no excuse. I have no excuse at all. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no. You know what? I'm done. <laughs> Alright, I'm kidding. I don't really care. Um, you know, I have played through this game and probably beaten the entire game without using a continue. I don't know if I ever beat it without dying. But I know I've done it with three lives before. So, um, so yeah. I haven't played it in a long time. Give me a break. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I want to show you real quick? I mean, there's so many features to this bad boy, but obviously a lot of it you probably can't do. Like, if I try to launch big box mode, it's going to give me an error, I'm sure. Yeah, you want to... you got to have premium. Would you like to learn more? And then it's going to take you to the website. So, uh, but there's a lot of stuff you can do with it just out of the box. If you want to pay for the premium, you get a lot more. Um, can't rave about it enough. I love emulators. Uh, you know, I'm, like I said, I've been doing this a long time. It's a window into the past. Uh, you know, it brings me back to my childhood, lets me visit games that I've never even gotten to play before. And I mean, it's quite frankly, I mean, there's so many games that have been lost in time because unless you're lucky enough to be able to find a used system and that used cartridge or used disc, you know, some of these games have never been re-released in any manner. Uh, you know, thankfully the Wii and Wii U had the virtual console. Some other consoles have kind of re-released older games. But there are many games on systems that have never been re-released. Uh, you know, hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands. Uh, that, you know, there's really no other way to experience them now other than an emulator. Because, you know, the average person isn't going to easily be able to pick up, you know, some system somewhere. So... You know, that's why I love them. Is it's a, I mean, it was a way for me to experience these games with my children, to show them games that I played as a child. Uh, you know, hopefully it's going to be a way, if, if I do some videos here and show some of the stuff off, maybe it'll be a game for you in the future. So it, it's, it's just cool stuff. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing some videos later that can kind of get into this stuff. I'll... I'll I, I'd love to hear some comments on if I do do that, like maybe which emulator I used... Uh, how, what settings I used in the emulators because some of them I do kind of mess around with the graphics settings and things of that nature um, you know if, if, if people would like to hear more about like the settings and configurations I used for the games to make them look the way they do uh, I don't know I just this is kind of cool stuff to me I've always loved it I'm, I've been a gamer all my life you know love that my kids love games you know even my wife plays games occasionally she's not a gamer but um, she played Comedy of Heroes though you know, real-time strategy game released several years back, what, 2008 or something? And she loved that game. And that really shocked me. So, because uh, she normally plays, like, Plants vs. Zombies and other simple stuff. So the fact that she played COH, oh, yeah, I knew then. You know, I, I got the right girl in my life. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, like I said, I will link to this wallpaper. I will link to the LaunchBox software. I uh, can't wait to do more in the future with this stuff. Next video will be probably something, again, totally different. I may do another Rocket League video. I don't know. Uh, but until next time, guys, see you soon.